Hello Gemini and welcome to your March 2023 reading. So, I meditated on your energy and what spirit wanted to talk to you about. And also, yes, happy solstice because the 21st of March, uh, not the solstice, the equinox, sorry. <laughs> happy equinox this month. Beautiful day to celebrate balance and bring balance back into our life also. Um, okay, so I meditated on your energy and what spirit wanted to talk to you about. Here we have the eight of pentacle. So right away, it's about how we invest ourselves. I have a project. I put my energy. I put my time and attention and, and knowledge into something to make it grow, to um, make it um, expand, fruitful, and so on. That's the Eight of Pentacle. How grounded we are in the here and now and applied into the investment of us in this world. After that, I have the Knight of Pentacle, which is all about continuation. And then I have the Hermit in Reverse. And the Hermit in Reverse, this is when we have a hard time getting in touch with our inner wisdom. Or there's something within ourselves that prevents us from moving along when we're not sure of what is next. You can also see it as that beautiful Virgo moon that is coming because the Hermit is Virgo. And Virgo is all about bringing the, you know, you're both uh, ruled by Mercury. So bringing the, the cosmic intelligences, um, wit, um, knowledge, and so on. For Virgo, it's to bring it into the concrete earth whether it is within your body, whether it is in your home, your work habits, how you function and you bring that intelligence. So here, this month, since we're talking about the moon, and I think it's going to affect you, uh, Gemini, in a certain way where it's going to shed its light on hidden things that prevent you from being able to... Um, Invest yourself and keep it in your daily um, daily life. Okay. Under the Eight of Pentacle, we have the King of Wands and the King of Cups. So that's very good because we have like being emotionally grounded and King of Wands. It's our willpower because we do need willpower to be able to have a discipline and have all, all of these things of of the hermit of virgo the cats so and then we have justice in reverse so right away here we have uh, a fellow air sign that's all about balance um balance in the energy we put and what we come comes back but it's it rules them the associations uh the partnerships but you and your life is a partnership how you are engaged in this life is a partnership between your soul and your body between you and the universe between you and your dreams everything is a contract in a way so here it's in reverse. Under, uh, so we'll see uh, why it's in reverse. Under the Knight of Pentacle, we have the Ten of Cup in reverse. So that tells me that in the continuity of your growth, for some of you, you have a hard time um, accessing the pleasure of that investment. Okay, of the work, of the investment. And under that, I have, I have the seven of, <laughs> sorry, I have the seven of sword and the world in reverse. So, 
Here we're not quite done completely with the Seven of Sword. It's still there a bit. And Seven of Sword is all about this disempowering uh, mental way of seeing things. Maybe thinking that, you know, things are not balanced. Or how do I disempower myself making my contract between me and the world, me and my engagement, me and my self-engagement unbalanced? How do I procrastinate? How do I disempower myself? Uh, and here it's almost like by, by the fact that the, the joy of my part in and the exchange and all of that is not there. Under our hermit in reverse, I have these cards in reverse. So the fact here we finish in reverse but that can switch at any moment. Do not let reverse cards pull you back. It's because you have the power of switching them around if you want to. So here, the Hermit in reverse, we understand that it's having a hard time um, continuing when we don't know what is in front of us. So that means that probably there are beliefs of things that can be unfair, that, oh, if I don't have insurance in front of me, maybe I stop. Maybe I stop because I don't have all of my faith in the situation. I have a hard time rejoicing, celebrating in my investment of what I want to do. And here we have... Um, a judgment at the same time the thing that is going to be lit uh, for you during this full moon my Gemini's are the part the hidden parts of you that need to be released because they are dragging you down preventing you from having joy and pleasure in what you're investing yourself in so that things can be balanced so that you can have a Venus exalted in your dynamic with you know everybody around you because you know we invest ourselves of course it's gonna have an interaction with people around us unless you're alone in an island you know as soon as you're engaged in life it's going to be in a dynamic with others and under that i have the two of sword because ultimately you're gonna have to kind of choose uh, make a decision, choose your truth, all right? So let's clarify this for you, Gemini. I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for Gemini's for the month of March 2023. Black body is comfortable on the cart. Yes. All right. So let's look at uh, the Eight of Pentacle. Eight of Pentacle for Gemini spirit. Eight of Pentacle for Gemini. All right, I have death and I have the four of cups. And there it is. There's still a lingering belief that things will turn out like they've always turned out. So let's say that maybe before you got disappointed and hurt in the results of your investment and in your energy and your focus and all of that. Because when we look at the Four of Cups, there's this 
And you know, the guy doesn't look that excited about what is in front of him. So, ah, it's not feeding me uh, emotionally anymore. And death is there because there's a transformation that needs to happen about this. Okay. Let's look at the two kings. King of Wands, King of Cups. So, one could be pushing the other kind of thing. King of Wands and King of Cups. Why is the King of Wands and King of Cups there for Gemini? All right. Okay. So it kind of went on the side because of this little man, but it's the sun. So, and the sun, well, that's all about one's expansion. Okay, it's the solar plexus. So it's that kind of, maybe I've got a, a great aspiration. I've got something that would bring me pleasure, you know, pleasure in my self-expression and who I am and all of that. But I have a hard time finding the joy in it. And you can think, well, why? That doesn't fit. If it's something that I've always wanted to do, why aren't I, you know, looking forward to it? Why am I procrastinating? Why am I delaying doing it or whatever? How come I'm not having pleasure doing it? Why? Let's look at the justice in reverse. Justice in reverse. Why is justice in reverse? And it's probably because of that. Here is our emperor in reverse. So the masculine, it's like there's a part of your masculine that is helping you and part of your masculine that is not helping you because there's a masculine that thinks um, that things will uh, turn out unbalanced and unfair uh, either because you're used to give a lot more than what you receive so putting energy into giving even more even if it's your aspiration and whatnot um, there's like something holding you back here okay and here i have the hangman with the ten of cups upright uh, with our emperor in return in reverse so we have the ten of cups in reverse there they're the hangman with the ten of cups that means that the vision the idea of how we're seeing joy and happiness in shared emotions in bringing the light into our waters this is what we need to look at from a completely different angle with the hangman there's something there's an illumination understanding that we need to get about this so that this guy can start working for us and not pull us back as we're trying to move forward. Okay, and since we had like the King of Wands, it's like your willpower and your desire of doing it is the main motor. The King of Cups, probably by the fact of your emotional wisdom, is backing it up, even if it doesn't really believe that it could bring uh, anything more that would be you know uh, the king of sword that needs to be behind you and the king of pentacle finding the easy solutions uh, the pleasure in it uh, and and understanding that you can have like one truth about it let's look at that uh, knight of wands and there it is King of Pentacle is in reverse. Only half your kings are working for you. And King of Pentacle is in reverse. And I have uh, the Two of Cups and the Knight, uh, the Knight, the Page of Pentacle. 
and the page of pentacle in reverse here that's your next seed you've, you're applying yourself you're working but you're kind of not expecting anything four of cups therefore you're not getting anything uh you're not getting uh, richer connections two of cups is you're looking outside for the plus value of what you're bringing and you're not seeing it. You're not seeing the next seed uh, that would come through others. And maybe that's why we have that Ten of Cup thing. Because a Ten of Cup compared to the Nine of Cup, you have like a bunch of people in it. Because that's the stage where we start exchanging with others our overflowing joy of light in our waters and we need that to function and it's almost like I've never had it before I have a hard time imagining that somebody will actually come with a cup with a, a loving appreciation of what I bring with feeling the acknowledgement and the love of people into the fact that there's the me uh, in this world or not. My, what I bring to the table. The king of pentacle being in reverse, that means that when it comes to uh, supporting myself in this, um, protecting myself, finding easy solutions, uh, and the fruits of my investment, it's hard to get. Let's look at that Ten of Cups in reverse. Why is the Ten of Cups in reverse for Gemini's? All right, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So things are changing as we're speaking four of wands because it's all a question like you know as i was shoveling i was i was hearing like well some people will probably wonder well you can't always be happy and joyful into what you do sometimes you just have to pay the bills but everything is a state of being even when you do the thing you love the most uh, that it's not a guaranteed happiness as you're doing it because it's all in the way you're doing it you can be suffering watch washing the dishes or you can have pleasure doing it it's a state of being of exchanging um allowing this joy to come in and exchanging with others you know in the kitchen and whatnot there's for you this month, there's something you're going to understand that is going to allow uh, the wheel of fortune to turn for you about this. Finding the joy in the work. And what is preventing you from feeling the joy in the work, in the investment, will be shone upon probably during the around the 7th of March during that uh, full moon in Virgo here so let's look at the world and the seven of sword because the seven of sword we call it a thief in the night but how do I rob myself of the joy and the happiness into what I'm doing seven of sword Ooh. okay ah here we have the Eight of Wands. We have the Page of Sword. All right. So that means understanding something. <laughs> and probably understanding here. Bringing love into what I do. The thing we have to understand about love. Love is a state of being. Okay. I've said that before. But sometimes we still think about, um, well... What I do will be the source of the love and the joy. No, it will not come from outside. Even if you do the thing you love the most. Okay? 
And I've experienced that. I had a great career in painting. And for a long time, I was suffering like hell doing murals and frescoes in, in, in you know, amazing places and so on. And why was I suffering doing it? Because I was under the pressure of, of performance and quality and, and giving the client a miracle. You can't have pleasure uh, in that state of being. But when you look at it differently and you allow yourself to feel the joy before doing it, it's not what you're doing that's going to bring it. You're, you're it and you're bringing this to what you're doing, then it changes everything. Because like I was explaining for Pisces, love, joy, peace, grace is a state of being and it's accessible everywhere. Okay, and I, w I made the comparison with electricity. If you would call love electricity, you know that it's all over. You can either be limited to plug yourself to something in order to receive that peace, love, serenity from the plug, whether it is somebody or something you're doing or whatever. Or you can become a Tesla tower where you can grab the peace, the serenity, the love all around you embody it and then bring this to what you're doing the result see it's 180 degrees the result will be completely different and i think at that point you don't procrastinate anymore because you're looking forward for that transfer of joy and love into your actions into what you're doing hint virgo daily uh, <coughs> work ethics and a discipline in the daily schedules of things. Let's look at that hermit in reverse. I think at the end of the month, you'll be able to reverse that hermit. Ooh. <coughs> All right. So, Anxiety leaving. How am I going to do this and all of that? Anxiety leaving. Eight of sword. Getting out of your head. So we see that the distortions are in the swords. And you are Gemini. So, of course, this is, there's another card behind it. Ah, there it is. Okay. So... You might find yourself, because when this happens and we have a hard time finding the joy and the love into what we do, then we will start analyzing what we do. Am I in the right field? Maybe I wasn't meant to be a nurse, a teacher, or whatever. Um, you know, is it worth it? My fire is just like, you know, it transformed into a shovel and it's just paying the bills and going through the motion. But that garden is dry. It needs water. But I need to understand that call of my soul so that I can start seeing what I'm doing and my daily life from a completely different angle. And I think this is what is going to be bringing upon you all of that. So for some of you, you will be able to make that transformation during the month. Others of you, it might translate into uh, April. We'll see. But here, let's look at the star, the judgment, and the three of cups in reverse. So I have the queen of pentacle in reverse and the king of pentacle in reverse. As long as this world here cannot be associated with a source of pleasure for you, Gemini. Um, as long as investing yourself here, putting that special uniqueness spark of the divine that is you 
in the soil of this material world where you are cherished by this world and the pleasure and the joys of it are at your disposal if you want to bring it within first and put it in your garden with your seed after. This is something that you have to remember. And the Two of Sword. Here we have our Queen of... Um, okay. Our Queen of Pentacle in reverse again. But here we have the Devil, Seven of Cups, Three of Wands. So it's like this. Or like this if it's like this I'm stuck thinking that this world is stronger than me that uh, it will always be the same conditions that I've had before that were unbalanced that were not a source of pleasure joy and love I'll daydream I'll dream about it but never actually invest myself they'll just be projections of my hopes and dreams and therefore I won't be able to actually make them come towards me. Or I reverse all of that. That is what is going to be my decision at the end of the month. Everything is a question of perception, perspective. I cannot experiment something that I cannot conceive or that I cannot make the choice about if it doesn't ring possible for me. It has to ring possible before I can actually experiment it and live it. And in your case, yes, you can have joy and pleasure in investing yourself here and actually get something out of it. So this is for some of you there. But I think it's whether it is big for you or just a little, but this is something that the moon in Virgo will shine a light on truly for you. All right? So on this, my beautiful Geminis, uh, have an amazing um, spring equinox on the 21st. Um, it is a, a nice time also to... Um, you know, since the equinox is a balance, you can um, use this time to call in for harmony. Uh, you got it's the beginning of the new year. It's the beginning of the fire in what you're going to uh, invest yourself in, in that beautiful state of balance where the day and the night will be in perfect harmony. Use it. Um, so anyway, if you want a private reading, there's a website below. You just go there. Everything is set in there for uh, booking your readings. Um, and it's only three weeks in advance. So it's not like booked for six months or whatever. I made it so that it's just three weeks in advance. Um, also, thank you for the ones of you uh, that subscribe. It helps the channel and uh, comment and share and like. And um, have a beautiful month of March. And I'll see you next month.